Hi, my YouTube fans. Worldwide, and a special shout out to uh, that guy Ivan in Moscow. I got inbox this morning. I'll help you anytime. Just keep subbing and watching the channel. So this is an instant hot dispenser under the sink here. And what happens after years of these things cycling, in other words, they get uh, hot and, co and cool down and heat up and cool down. There's a, a copper tank inside that kind of looks like a canteen, like a Boy Scout canteen. And they crack and then they drip. Uh, this one's dripping all in the bottom here. And it's, you see my fingers are all wet and it's like dripping all over the freaking place. Um, I think you might even just sort of drip right there behind me. So it's time to replace it. Um, basically what we did is we went to the home center and we got a replacement here which it's got the same tank and it also comes with a new spout which their spout's the old style it's looking pretty cruddy so we're going to put the new spout we're going to take all of this stuff out and replace it and uh, it doesn't take too long I just want to basically show you how to do it first thing you want to do is uh, this is the supply you follow the pipe up this is the supply it actually goes up to the faucet when you turn the faucet on it puts fresh water down here and squeezes the hot water back out of the faucet so you trace the pipe and that's the supply so we want to shut this off and that's clockwise off now a problem with these is you don't use them a lot so when you turn it back on they sometimes tend to dribble and I'm going to annotate right here a little link in the bottom of the screen here to another video I have on how to um, really simply fix that if they start leaking on you how to just stop that leak it's real easy it takes like two minutes not even um, we unplug it okay you're going to Take the cord and follow the cord and unplug it. You only want to be careful. It could be hot water in here. Uh, look at that. Things leaking like crazy now. So it could be full of scalding hot water. So be really careful. Here and disconnect this stuff. These are just like rubber hoses that slip off. Okay. And um, then we can just lift this thing up and take this out. Okay. And again, it's full of hot water, so we're just going to set it in there for now. So, uh, we just want to wipe it because we're going to be crawling in here and stuff, so you want it nice and clean so it doesn't get on your clothes or anything. Now what we got to do is get up under there, okay? Then we have to loosen that screw up. We have to loosen that screw, and then we'll be able to take the whole spout out. Alright, now this is keyed here, so you just gotta loosen it a little bit, and then easier just to unscrew this thing. Oh, there it goes, it's coming. Alright, so sooner or later, you'll be able to, there we go. Now that whole top thing is actually, probably try to use this same connection. Hopefully the new one is just as long, but we gotta double wrench this, because if we just put a wrench on here and try to untighten it, we're gonna end up twisting that one, so you gotta really hold it with one wrench and a uh, great shot okay. Okay. so we're gonna hold the the actual fitting which is the middle nut and again yours might not be like this it might just be screwed right onto the valve but we're gonna double wrench it they call this the supply line. I'm gonna take the supply line off. Okay, there we go. Now some might be hooked right to here. You could take it off from there. Yours might be different. It might be a different connection. Okay, now I'm coming up top side here. I we should just be able to lift this out. And uh, you might have to squeeze these a little bit to get them out, but they will come out. Okay, now there's some good scrap copper on here and stuff. Some of this will go to the recycling bin. The rest is just plastic. Uh, now we want to clean this up a little bit here. While we have it off, it's kind of easy to clean. And I'm going to look around for a little comet. We're going to clean that. That's why I got the reputation of being the best handyman. Because I do little stuff like this, and that's a good idea for you small business owners and stuff. You always want to go the extra mile, because then your customers really like you. And this is just like soapy residue and stuff. Okay, okay so 
So I'm always known for going above and beyond. And what I did is I took a Brillo pad and I just scrubbed the hell out of all of this around here, even back here and, and both these edges and all around where that gunk was. I mean, it looks a lot better just looking at it. And they notice stuff like this. So, okay, so now we got it nice and clean. We can start our installation. But I might even just get a razor blade out of the truck and just scrape some of that crap off of there for this lady because she's a nice lady. And we want to do a good job. So, anyway, we're going to open this. We're going to open this up. Just be careful if you're buying these things at the home center that it's actually... A sealed box so connections on the top are the same those three and these are stout assembly and the one thing that I'm just a little bit concerned about is that this copper is as long as the old one was so what I'm gonna do is just uh, Eyeball it and uh, whoa, it's a lot shorter. It's a lot shorter, um, but I might have some of that in the truck. If not, we can cut a section of this and make an extension because uh, you can bend this copper pipe a little bit. You want to be careful and unnecessarily bend it, but you can bend it for installation. And also, including the box, you'll find your warranty papers and a full set of instructions that you may want to reference. And also the screws to hold the tank to the cabinet. And this stuff. It's a lot slicker looking. Okay. To the truck and look for some compression fittings, which are like these things here. I'm going to look for a quarter inch compression fitting so we could extend this. I'm going to need what they call a union, and uh, it looks like I'm also going to need an end. I don't think they supplied us with an end, okay? And uh, and the end would be like this, this here, this one, and a union is this. A union is where you join two together, okay? And like this compression fitting, for instance, is going from copper to the nylon, and that's possible. You just got to use a different bushing. The copper gets the metal, that one gets the plastic, but... Basically, what we're going to do is extend that. You could, on something like this, you could just change the tank. Because all the connections are the same. And it, two out of the three are plastic slip-on hoses. And that one's a snap-on. I could have just changed the tank and left that spout in the sink. You know? You can get, get the tank separate, like, online. You know, you can order just the tank separate. Uh, and it's a little bit of a savings. Or you could do the whole thing like I'm doing because uh, her spout wasn't looking too good and it came in the box anyway. So, I mean, I could have told her I just got the tank and, you know, but I'm, it just takes a minute. I'm, I'm going to do it. So, all right. So my compression fittings are in those drawers back over there. We're going to dig one out of there. And uh, I'm going to get a, a single edge razor blade to start scraping around that sink. Just another minute or two. And uh, then we're going to go back inside. It's easy. Reference the instructions. You know, don't just watch my video. I'm telling you to check the instructions. Uh, use them as a guide and reference plus this video. Watch it a couple times if you have to. And it, this is real easy stuff. I mean, uh, they make it, you know, it's designed for anybody to put in that's why those slip on and the only problem with this one is we have to extend the copper pipe and i'm just showing you guys that because that's the whole basis of my channel is to deal with the problems as they come up <sighs> did i just smell out of my nose because um we all know in this fixing business not everything goes as smoothly as like you know this old house everything goes perfect you know because they do like 10 takes. I'm just showing you exactly what happens in day-to-day -day reality of fixing things. This, the pipe's a little short. We got to extend it. But we're going to use the, the pipe from the old tank. All I need is a couple of compression fittings, which I'm pretty sure I have that. When it comes up, don't panic. Stop. Use your, your logical thinking process. Don't get emotional. The logic and work your way through the problem. The small pipe cutter, small pipe cutter, the compression fitting, 
the end cap and the razor blade let's get back inside and finish this job razor blade and i'm going after that yellow stuff there see razors work great on porcelain because the porcelain is really hard and the soap scum is not look at that even the brillo pad couldn't get that off now the installation guide they provide is laid out very simply and logically it starts with six quick and easy steps and you just follow this step one step two step three step four until you get through it and the, you don't plug it in until it's filled with water or else you could burn it out that's an important thing to remember that by holding it flat on the counter and just pushing the other half compression fitting because this is from the factory but I just want to check that it's indeed tight it's just the way I am what's your P's and Q's okay very nice okay so here's our o-ring it's actually an O-ring and a chrome trim ring. We're going to slip that up through all of these hoses and pipes. There we go. Oh, come on, baby. And this is going to keep any, like if any water spills on the sink top, it's going to keep it from dripping through here under the sink anyway. So that's what something like this would be for. All right, very nice. Okay, so I'm grabbing them and we're gonna feed them through. And making sure our O-ring's sitting in there nice. It's very nice. And before we tighten it up, we're gonna make sure that it is indeed pointing into the sink. Now we go underneath with the under clamp and the wing nut. 